look at me. No matter how hard I try, this video is not coming out on a Sunday. I'm, I'm like, look, like, look, 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 look at the time. It, it's, it's 10:56. Even if I put all of my best efforts forward. Yeah, he was chatting. Um, so basically, I realized that I'm not built like Corey, and I cannot manage this every week. Honestly, I fully understand when Corey skips like weeks and stuff. I fully understand when he goes on breaks. Cause when I tell you I woke up like, I woke up on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I'm like, dang. I fully understand. Like I fully understand. So I'm gonna just make a spooky scary Sunday every two weeks. So it's like a bi-weekly thing, um, and. There's people that I've like seen on the Spooky Scary Sunday hashtag, and it's like they've been doing the same exact things. Like they've been making like their own little fan version of Spooky Scary Sunday, and I think that's really cool. I think that's like really awesome. And I'm just gonna link their videos, so y'all could just like go watch theirs as well. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think it's kind of fun that the whole little samurai community is just like doing this. I think it's I think it's really cute. So, yeah. Spooky Scary Sunday! For those who are new, it's the series where every Sunday, the samurai come together and we have a blast. We come together and we watch some scary videos sent in by you guys via Twitter using the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday. You go to Twitter, follow me at CoreyXKenshin, use the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday, and leave a link to the scariest video that you know. And if video gets picked, you shut up! Bro! Where are you? I'm gonna get creative with the snacks today. Get you a Capri Sun, peanut butter jelly sandwich, and some chill mix because that's my addiction. Thank you. You know who you are. With all that being said, first video. So our first video was sent in by Ya Boy Void. I'm not gonna lie to you, I rock with your name. The handle, Combat Reality, that's like, that's so hard, bro. Like, I rocks with that. Who said, hey, Corey, hope you enjoyed this video. It gave me the creeps. I'll have a neutral game bar. I missed and it hit my monitor. Oh my god. No way. This is how we're starting off? Those angles just now was kind of fire, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Okay, peep how nobody's saying a word. I've not heard a peep of dialogue right now.
I feel like he's a little too calm about the fact that the door just shut behind him and these papers are just up. I'm, no, I gotta read that. What is it? If you yourself cannot release, then I will come to take a piece. Wait! No! I've heard this somewhere. I think it was, um... Because this is Luxie Season 2, right? Like, Super... I think Corey saw the original, for, like, the original version, and this same thing was said. Because I remember this line from somewhere, but I can't remember, like, where... Oh no! What we? What was it though? Like, what was what was supposed to be released? Like, like something that they hold value? Like some sort of like? Was it like a greed kind of thing, or was it like, oh, you gotta like sacrifice your family members kind of thing? I don't. I I I I, I literally do not remember. I'm gonna keep it a being. Bro was just. Bro was just. Bro is toying with him, and it's. There has not been a smudge of dialogue this entire. How many minutes? Four minutes. Where's the little brother? Oh, I assume he died. Oh, he's still alive. That is horrifying, bro. Huh? What? Huh? What is going on? Like you, like you people, they just spawned out of nowhere. I gotta watch that back. Flashback. It was originally the faceless guy, but then two other dudes just spawned, and he just transformed. Oh, okay, so he was hallucinating. Moments later. And so they killed him. Wasn't that one of the dudes though? I'm so... Oh. So one of the, the, one of the three dudes died by the hands of the faceless guy and the other two just ran but one of them took the watch that doesn't belong to him and now they're being haunted but what happened to the old man is my question huh what
Bro, how do you even use that to tell the time, bro? I don't see no, like, no, no, no dashes or anything. Bro, trees do not creak. What is that? I don't even know. I oh, God, he's right there. <laughs> Are they supposed to release the watch? Bro said burn it. Oh, he's gone. I think I think they're just supposed to let go. Bro, just let go of the watch at that point. Like, I don't know. It's just gonna vanish. It doesn't. Ex Yo. I would genuinely be tripped out my mind if that happened to me, bro. And it's like, they don't even try to make the jump scares abrupt or anything. It's just like, he just spawns somewhere, bro. He just spawns somewhere. He don't chase you or nothing. He's gonna vanish. You see what I'm saying? Uh, oh, he pulled, he pulled the, like, level one white person in the horror movie. Oh, 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 oh God. What are you supposed to release, bro? Bro, just like go the watch. I think that's the only thing that makes sense because they both like. That shit didn't even make a sound, bro. Okay, since he doesn't have the watch, he should be good, right? See, this is what I'm saying, like, no, no. Oh, he knew it was behind him. Does it bleed? He's gonna vanish, yep. He's like, he's like Slenderman, bro. The second he's out of sight, he just, he just no, like, bro. The second this man gets out of sight, he just doesn't exist anymore. Is it like, are you supposed to keep your eyes on it? Is, is that is that the rule here? I'm not. But he, but he doesn't have the watch, bro. What? It, Sorry, what? But why did he get? None of this is making sense to me. I'm not even gonna lie to you.
I think the only reason why that guy survived was because he didn't have the watch. Cause like remember it was like left on the floor and he looked at him something about the the uh, the old guy, and the old guy is back now apparently. But he didn't have the watch, so I, like he's the only dude like so far that has not died. But then he picked up the watch, so I don't know why. Like, was that the kid's drawing? This is the um, the phantom dude, the faceless guy. I assume that the dad is gone. The mom is gonna also die because of, like the way its face is off. The kid is already dead, so the kid is aware that he's gonna die already. These two are gonna be the only survivors. Is what I'm like, is what I'm is what I'm gathering here. Oh no. Did, did it also have the message at the back of the paper too? Because I saw something there. Oh no. Oh no. Bro, you are. You are. Yup. Yup, it was in the back. It was in the back too. How strong is that necklace? To support a whole woman's body weight like that? How strong? I need her jeweler, bro. Bro. <laughs> what are they supposed to release, bro? This is killing. Bro, oh my gosh. Bro, this is frustrating me because how is someone supposed to survive this? Kill the child? Wait, was he? He didn't come there with them. The kid is about to grab her hand, bro. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I think I get 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 it. Okay. So I think it's like um releasing something emotionally like cuz like the parents were still grieving the child, the dead kid, right? And you saw like her reaction just now when she saw like an illusion of her son. She was like, "Oh my god, my baby, my sweet baby." Like it was like she was still attached to the idea of her child and she has not come to terms with the fact that her kid died. So it's like kind of like a grieving thing where it's like, "Oh, if you yourself cannot release your attachment and you, like your inability to like just accept the accept the fact that he's dead, I myself am just gonna come and kill you. I don't know why. I don't know what his vendetta is with grieving individuals, but I guess I think the reason why that one guy survived is because like I think when he saw the dude die, he just accepted. He was like, okay, this is happening. Keep a calm mind. Breathe. Like you saw how he took the breath. He turned around and stabbed the guy. He took a breath accepted that this was happening pulled out the knife and stabbed like he was worried about himself he wasn't worried about nobody else so i think that's what they're supposed to be releasing i don't know 
and maybe that's why the other two kids are going to survive because like i feel like kids are much i don't know i feel like they don't have the, the same degree of attachment as adults would so is that why the other two i'm reading too much into this just Why does she have the watch now? No way. No way. Oh no. Nah. The shed's about to open, is it? Why do you always feel the need to explore whenever something ominously opens instead of walking in the other direction, bro? I gotta know. Like, what is in your psyche? <laughs> what is in your psyche that compels you? It's about to slam shut. I don't know. Oh, it has a note in it. GG's. Nah, bro. There has to be, like, some sort of, like, theory video on how to, like, overcome this monster, bro. Because this just don't make no sense. Mmm, just overcome the boss here, bro. The jump scares are so silent and that that genuinely pisses me off like honestly i would have probably been like much more i would i would have been like i would i would have felt better if the jump scares had like noises to them and like they were just sudden and all up in your face but no it's just so silent and i feel like my reactions just don't feel justified for the degree of like for the lack of actually of jump scare material, like, bro, they just silently popped up, randomly, for no reason. Why, it, it just keeps doing it. Smart. No way, bro. Is there a reason why they don't say anything? Like, is that like um some sort of like a lore, some lore justified purpose for for doing so? Because this would have been a perfect like scenario to just be like, "Yo, mom, are you good?" Bro, that got that got a tear in my eye, bro. Hold on. No, that got me a tear in my eye, bro. No, yo, this looks horrible. Yo, <laughs> this is a, this this is the thumbnail. I don't care. This is the thumbnail of this video. This is horrifying, bro. That's so it. No! Huh? Oh. Oh, he knew.
I'm gonna take a little break. And I'm gonna come back to it. Don't worry, I'm gonna come back to it. I have never had a jump scare be so silent but had myself react to it so instinctively fast. I saw the I saw the door move two inches in the opposite direction and I said no and I immediately paused the video. No, nah, bro. Don't get me started on that, bro. That is horrifying, bro. I saw the hand and I said no. What does the clock mean? Is he gonna let go? He's about to transform into something, bro. Oh, he did it. Stop it. What just killed him? Wait, what, what, what? I can't even see it. I can't even see it. But why her? Does she die now? Blue? No, 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 I don't, I don't understand anything, bro. I think we're going to have to watch, I think we're going to have to watch like the first season of Look See to understand anything of what just happened because I'm so confused. I thought after ripping up the thing, he was safe. But like I, I saw that and I saw him stuck. But like, but like he still looked at the, the the teddy bear a type of way of like oh damn. But it's like oh I remember like. Hmm. I don't understand the rules of this universe, and it's like the curiosity is killing me. But I might have to just reserve it for the next SSS. I'm not gonna lie to you. It really made me shit my ass down. I'm not gonna lie to you. That was yikes. <laughs> Our next show was sent to us by Saul. I, I don't know what this is. Cause, what is Sundara? Hold on. Okay, I can't find a meaning for Sundara, but Sendero means path. That's kind of cool. Who said, got an epic banger just for you. Speaking of bangers, drop a freestyle real quick. <laughs> Hold on. Um, let me slap on the beat. Loose, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
somebody told me to never get in a studio like ever. <laughs> no. <laughs> I appreciate that. That was fun. I just gave y'all a concert. Bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. This animation is like very reminiscent of like some Disney XD show. I can't put my finger on like exactly which one though. And it's like really smooth too. Hold on. No phone flashlight looks like that, bro. No. Oh! Oh, she on hallucinogen, bro. I don't know what to tell you. What is that? Would you like a chicken over rice? Like, are you into halal food? Talking about some feed me. What am I supposed to Bella feed you? Moon was not at all what I thought she would be. I wasn't given much time to go over her case file before our first appointment, but from what I had read, I half expected some kind of uncontrollable monster to walk through the door. She wasn't anything like that. She was quiet and guarded, smaller in person than what I had imagined from her photograph. A perfectly normal 17-year-old girl. That made it even harder to believe she was capable of doing the things that she did. She was the last surviving member of the so-called Woodfield Five, a group of kids all from the same remote northern town who suffered a series of unexplained, at times violent, mental breaks. Clinical notes suggested some kind of shared psychosis, though unlike anything I'd ever heard of in my 20-year practice. By all accounts, Sparrow had an unremarkable childhood. No indications of behavioral difficulty, good grades in school, active social life, no family history of mental illness to speak of. Her mother had been part of some offbeat spiritual commune years earlier, but had left that behind when Sparrow was quite young and eventually mm. remarried. There was nothing to suggest any kind of underlying trauma or abuse, though as you come to find in my line of work, that's not always so obvious. The only path to understanding what really happened in Woodfield was Sparrow herself. And that so would be more difficult than anyone in this Spaz men nag Hold on. What is that word? Spaz mena gal le a phobia. Bro, what, is, what, what even is that? I learned very little over the first weeks of our sessions together. Sparrow was often uncooperative, careful never to allow the growing familiarity between us to weaken her resolve. I was not as strong. I became unreasonably attached to her. The endless medical diagnostics revealed nothing we didn't already know. 
She barely slept. The scratches on her arms were self-inflicted. And aside from high blood pressure, she was physically healthy. No one was certain about what exactly was wrong with her. And she was getting worse. There's a webcomic that I read, right? It's called um, School Bus Graveyard. The weeks turned to months, and I was running out of time. This is feeling very reminiscent of that. The courts had determined that unless I could demonstrate conclusive progress in her treatment, Sparrow would be transferred to an isolated psychiatric ward and out of my care. I could have walked away at that point. I probably should have. But what I wanted what I've always wanted was answers. Oh, so this isn't like a current thing. He's talking after from all like that we'd been through. Hindsight. She wasn't a kid to me anymore. She wasn't a monster either. She was a puzzle to solve. Sodium pentothal can be administered to induce something called narcosynthesis, a state between asleep and awake where the subject is highly suggestible. In most places today, the practice is frowned upon. Normally, I would never consider such a treatment, but given the circumstances, my options were limited. I knew full well that this could risk professional censure, perhaps even my career itself. Bo is just curious. It doesn't seem to matter at the time. Okay, what if, right? After the injection. Okay, 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 okay. Remember how, like, earlier I said, like, there's, like, this webtoon called Scobus Graveyard? The entire premise is that there's, like, this phantom world and there's, like, the real world, right? The real world is the real world, right? Nothing's wrong there. The phantom world is a world that is, like, a replica of the real world, but it's, like, populated by these phantoms, like, like these anorexic humanoid small eyes, like, they're fully black creatures, and, like, they have this weird disastrous smile right and so the thing is the way those two things interact is that there was a group of kids that got somehow inflicted with a curse that uh, that whenever they go to sleep they get transported to the phantom world so like they're still basically awake but they only exist now within the phantom world and once they wake up they go back to the real world the thing is that some of the things that happen in the phantom world affect your body if something happens to you in the phantom world, it affects your body in the real world. If something happens in the real world, it affects it in the phantom world. Like if something physically happens in the real world, it affects the phantom world, right? So what I'm thinking, right, based off of everything that I'm like seeing so far, is it like a very similar situation where it's like, okay, when she goes to sleep or like when she's like not conscious, because because remember how she said like she has trouble sleeping? Maybe that's why. Maybe like like the, the beginning segment was like maybe she was asleep and then that just happened, right? And then maybe that's why, like, she would do things that is just, like, random, sudden, like, burst of, like, aggressiveness. Maybe that's just when she's sleeping. And that's why she's developed some sort of insomnia or something. And, like, I feel like placing her in this position where it's, like, she's half asleep but still awake at the same time kind of, like, creates a bridge between reality and that and said phantom world. And that phantom world is not going to have an effect in the real world because of that. That's just my hypothesis, though. I don't know why I had to stop the entire video for that, but... When Sparrow was brought to my office, we were left alone, and I asked her to count backwards from ten. Though before she even got to five, it was clear she knew something was wrong. Her breathing became shallow, and her eyes darted around rapidly. She began talking about a mist coming into the room that only she could see. She could hear a voice from within it calling to her. The drug had disoriented her to such a degree that I don't even think she recognized me. What does she see? Sparrow's small size and chronic fatigue made the dosage I administered tricky. She drifted in and out for several minutes. When Lucid, I redirected her, asking if she could tell me what the voice she heard was saying. After a long pause, she finally whispered, Little bird. 
At that point, Sparrow was not interested in answering any of my questions. She just spoke, and I listened. She said that it knew. It knew that was... Listened. She said that it knew. It knew that was what he used to call her. The old man. But the voice wasn't a man's. It was something else. She said it comes with the mist. That it takes things from you and it grows. Adding to what it's taken from others. It eats you from the inside. She didn't know its name, but called it the worm. As Sparrow lapsed into unconsciousness, I was left with more questions than answers. Who I arranged to have her return to her room and resign myself to the idea that I might never get the chance to understand the truth. That I had failed. I destroyed the records of our last session to prevent the review board from finding out what I had done. It was over. Or at least, that's what I thought. That music was amazing. It was that night night the dream started. It's a Savannah moment. Bro, y'all have to read School Bus Graveyard. I'm just saying, like, it's an amazing, it's an amazing webtoon. If, if you read it, you'll understand. This is a Savannah moment. Absolutely no, that was amazing. That that bro just hold on, hold on. That That was me. That animation was amazing. What? Bro said arise my son. What? It doesn't really matter how the dream begins. Eventually, the mist will come. And with the mist, always comes the worm. Just like she said it would. You can't run. That never works. It won't let you. The best you can hope for is that you wake up quick. 
before it begins to feed. At first, I told myself that it would go away. It could be a simple anxiety-induced aberration brought on by the stress of dealing with the case. Logical. But it was soon obvious that wasn't it. The nightmares didn't stop. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. It wasn't long before my colleagues began to take notice. Things got so bad I had no other choice. I called in every favor, pulled every string I could, and arranged access to Sparrow at our current facility. I needed answers more than ever. And she still had them. That's her I now? I almost didn't recognize her at first. That's what I'm saying. She looked strong and alert. A stark contrast to the tired girl that I had spent all that time with. I didn't have to ask any questions this time. Just by looking at me, she knew all too well what was happening. We sat down, and Sparrow Moon gave me what I needed. The worm is some kind of parasite. A pathogen, an ancient thing passed from host to host, manifesting in their dreams, feeding on their deepest fears. It will not stop. Always hungry for more. It won't kill you. It doesn't want you dead. It wants what any good virus wants. To propagate. To be passed on. To be fed. Mm. Sparrow tried to hold it inside of her. To protect others. Mm. She thought that if she could fight it long enough, it would die with her. She passed the worm to me the same way that it had been passed to her. Just by telling me about it. Oh! You have to believe me. I am sorry for this. Now that I've told you, I don't know when. But sooner or later, in your dreams, the mist will come. And with the mist, always comes the worm. <laughs> no! 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 That was amazing! That was amazing, bro. Dude, those last 30 seconds were amazing, bro. Die with her. She passed the worm to me the same way that it had been passed to her. Like this this gave me goosebumps, bro. The music too? You have to stop it. me. I am sorry for this. Now that I've told you, I don't know when. But sooner or later in your dreams, the mist will come. And with the mist, always comes the worm. I'm a little fanboy for, for like little badass things. And like really, really like well put together things. This, this entire like animation. And I know like animations take like a really, really long time. Look at this, bro. How much views does this even have? Like this was like, bro, this is a very under, this only has like, it's not even a mil yet, bro. Like 400,000 is good, but like this is not even a, this is like, this is millions of views worthy, bro. I'm not Corey, so I can't just be like, oh, hey, go show this some love. But it's like, I hope he sees this animation and is like, and goes like, bro, this person deserves some love because only 38K subs is kind of crazy. Animations like this, bro, this would take a long time. Not even mentioning like the voice acting, the music, all of that, bro. That is like, come on now. This was amazing, bro. Bro said, and with the miss always comes the... <laughs> okay, hold on. Our next shirt was sent to us by Marry Me. 
And I want y'all to read this with me, right? Yes, I will marry you. Anyways, Corey, you have to watch this if you ever come back. Wedding is tomorrow, so invite all your friends and family. Oh, and I hate neutral green bars. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. This animation right here has to be had it just has to be heat, bro. Like it has to be heat. It has to be heat enough to like warrant this level of crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you. And since you hate neutral green bars. Ooh, red shot. Okay. One of these days, I'm gonna just like break my equipment from being like silly, and I'm gonna cry over it for a bit, cause it's like I'm not gonna be buying stuff like this. <laughs> Trigger warning: the blah, 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 helmet is not super for young audiences. Or because I'm okay, okay, whatever. <laughs> The beautiful swan created by you? What is that code? 477 created <laughs> by you. <laughs> by your mother. <laughs> I can I can I can respect I can respect uh a seven a sixth grade joke. I, I I can respect it. Once upon a time, by a peaceful lake, a author swan was laying her eggs. Mm -hmm. Little did she know, one of her offspring was born different. It was a duckling. Look at this ugly fairy. Oh no! Nah. Oh no! Nah. Fairy! Said one of the cygnets as they peered at their sibling. The mother swan looked at the duckling with disgust. This is not one of my children, she said as she pecked at it, pushing the hatchling away from the nest. And she said as she pecked at Oh no! Nah. <laughs> said ouch, muffled. She pecked at it, pushing the hatchling away from the nest. You're a freak and you know it. You will never be beautiful. The duckling cried as its family relentlessly shamed it. A loud and disgusting Day creature forever cursed. The duckling cried as its family relentlessly shamed it. A vile and disgusting creature forever cursed to walk the earth as an ugly mutt. Wow. Wow, that is that is crazy. You're a freak and you know it. You will never be beautiful. The duckling cried as its family relentlessly shamed it. Day after day, the family would mistreat the duckling, making fun of its appearance. The swans constantly pointed out their differences such as their size so or beaks. No, they merely ridiculed the duck's feathers. Look at the feathers. Your feathers are plain and gross, like dirt. You could only dream of having. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is some nightmare fuel. This is some nightmare fuel. Like the way these faces are moving. The way these faces are moving is absolutely horrifying. One day, the duckling disappeared. Oh. Good riddance, sure one of the siblings. That runt was taking our family. Many suns and many moons passed, and before they knew it, they had all grown into graceful and elegant swans. It is come time for all of you to find a place of your own. I trust that all of you will be able to have a beautiful family like ours. Bro, and continue our pure blood the line. duck is about to spin the okay, block, bro. Farewell, this block On all of them. On the lake. Starting with the mom. Riding along the water, the swan siblings reminisced about the past. It's a shame, really, said one of the swans. Although he wasn't a looker, it just feels strange that he has left us. Oh, please, silly, as if you care what happened to that thing. If you ask me, between his silly feathers and that weird stare, it's a blessing that he's out of the picture. Simon, that's horrible. Just because he was a little different, didn't mean we had to be such dicks as kids. He's a new human. I told you he was gonna spin the block. Besides, what good does Terry do now? 
Whatever, Simon. I I'm told praising your you he was going to your head. I told you he was going to spin the block in the meanest way possible. Roy popped out with the blood. He said, get back. Okay, I do not condone gun violence or gang violence or any of this sort. I think it's actually really bad. Is my camera even like, it's like so high for no reason. Like, look at this. Look at that. <sighs> anyway. What good does Terry do now? Whatever, Simon. Mom praising your coat has got into your head. It's getting dark. Where is everyone? Seasons passed, and the mother's long decided. Oh, no! Oh, no! Bro. Who makes these, bro? Seasons passed, and the mother's long decided it was time to reunite with her kids. Disappointed that they never came to visit, she swam the route along the lake with her children once dead many moons ago. It is awfully quiet here, thought Mother Swan, as she passed the reeds of what she assumed would shelter her offspring. She found it odd, now to think of it, that she had incurred from her kids after all these years. Years? In the pen, she hopped out of the water and made her way to the barn. Simon said he was going to move here, she pondered. I wonder if he's finally got some hatlings of his own. Approaching the barn house, Mother Swan called out. Simon, Mother is home. There was silence. The door was left to tar. This is gonna have a Simon, bunch of rotting on, darling, geese bodies on the floor. Boy has. Oh! Oh, I was I'm I'm sorry. Let's 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 try that again. Uh, darling, I want to see how my beautiful boy has bars. <laughs> and I say this as a minority. Please love your children correctly. A lot of the mental issues that are going around is because a lot of these children are raised and they are not adequately loved. As you can clearly see in Exhibit A, sound that's not normal no normal thing in this world makes that sound I want you I, I, I want you to know that understand 
this level of crazy. I understand it now. And you know what? I'm all for it. This guy just decides to give me a roster here. And I don't know how many videos we've passed. I think we should be on our fourth video. So I might as well just like click this for the fourth. Oh, not a Meat Canyon video. Oh gosh. What is this? <laughs> I can count to three. Learning can be scary, but it can also be incredibly fun. Today I want to teach you how to count to three. Uh-huh. Huh? Peppa Pig? When counting, it's nice to almost think of it as a fun song to sing along to. Let's begin with our first song now. Try to repeat after me. Don't come out, George. One. No, George. She's telling you no. Do no, no, just go. Two. GG's. GG's. Let's try that once more. You're doing wonderfully. Repeat after me. One. Two. Three. Great work. You can proudly say I can count to three. One. Two. He better not stop screaming after three. Three. Is the light on the back of the camera? To, or yeah, it's blue. Yeah. Hi, I'm Meat Canyon. I'm here to let you know that Mark Zuckerberg is a fucking hell! Recently, I was deleted from Instagram from the communist Mark Zuckerberg because he hates American family values. <laughs> well, that's why I'm here today to say you should follow me on Twitter, at Meat Canyon. There's gonna be a lot of great stuff, like probably more pictures of Tom Brady kissing his kid, sexy photos of myself, and who even knows? Who, who knows what else is gonna go on there? Uncle Sam and the American government have a firm grip on these, you know what I'm saying? This bull. But also, I gotta tell you, I got two new shirts available. One right here, and one right here. These are two new shirts, and these for daddy's taxes, all right? So be sure to stop by the links below and support support me. Come on, what am I gonna do? What am I supposed to do this for free? <laughs> Should I call my man Dazzle? I don't know! Who knows? Hey Mark, don't tread on me. Eventually.
I don't think I'm ready. I think it to finish this list. I will not lie to you. I have five more of these to look over. And honestly, I'm just gonna like add one of them at the end of each one because like I don't. I'm not going to give myself anything more to edit. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give myself anything more to edit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to politely step away from my desk. This week was a nine, by the way. I'm going to step away from my desk, though. I'm going to grab my phone. I'm going to grab my last little bite of macaroni salad. And I'm going to walk away from my desk. That's the video. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing an outro. I'm not saying nothing. I'm just, that's the video.